Let's cut a hole in Blender, or better yet, a hole inside of this cube. How we do that is with a simple edit, preferences, and with a simple add-on, namely the bool tool. Look up for bool, and make sure you have bool here, bool tool selected. So enable this one, and then you can close this. And remember, Ctrl Shift B is the shortcut for this one. So let's say I want to add another mesh. Shift A, mesh, and then for example, another cube. And let's G to move this around. And let's move it also a bit like this. And now with this cube selected first, and then shift click on the other object, Ctrl Shift B, you see the bool tool right here. And then click here on difference. And then you see it, by the way, you can press H to hide this one. And then you can see here, this hole is cut out. So let's do this with another shape. For example, mesh cone. And let's uh, rotate the cone. So we get an effect like this. Have the cone first selected, then shift click on your mesh, Ctrl Shift B, difference, and then can make a little bit of a cheese like that. And you can also still move this around, press H if you don't want to see it. Now, there is a little bit of difference when you make a hole through it, so it has to be round. So let's X delete this. Shift A, let's add a, another cube. So for a perfect hole, Shift A, mesh, and then cylinder. Scale Z. Watch what happens now. When I shift click here, Ctrl Shift B, difference. So you can see this is a great hole, but you see a lot of edges here. So I'm going to do this a little bit different first. G, Z. To move this up a bit so we can really edit this. So go in edit mode. With tab I did this. And then what you're going to do, maybe in object mode so you can see this first. With Ctrl 4, so you make subdivisions, and then go into edit mode. Ctrl R, click at the loop cut, make it up there. Then Ctrl R, click also down. Then go into face select mode, select this one. I to inset, click. Also down. I to inset, click. Come out of this. By the way, you can also right click, share it's moved after this if you want. And now with GZ, let's move it down again. Okay, we have the cylinder selected, shift click on the cube, then Ctrl Shift B, and then choose difference. You can also hide this one once more. And then you see this hole is way better. But you see this little edge going on here. Now, what you can do then, little troubleshooting right here, click this one, go to data properties, normals, and auto smooth. And we can also choose the angle here. If you still have problems, you can select your mesh and then also Look at it in edit mode. First look at your model right here and go here to the face orientation. And if this is all blue, this is good. But hit uh, A to select all the edges, then shift N. So recalculate normals. You can flip it. If you have some faces that are red, you may make them blue. This can be separate or individual. So this is also something that may occur. So if you no longer uh, want these, you can also T-click face orientation and go back here. You can always add more geometry as well. Ctrl R to add loop cuts to your model. For example, something like this. This is just an example that more geometry. Okay, but these are basic ways to cut holes and cut objects inside of your models in Blender.